What's up, guys? My name is Shen Zin, and welcome to my channel. Today, I'm gonna do a painting of the sunflowers, and uh, I always want to do it because uh, in the past, I have seen many, many artists they have their own version of the sunflowers, including uh, one of my teachers, Sunny. And I remember I was looking at the, his painting in the book of his. Uh, it looks really cool, so I was always want to do it. And today would be the perfect time to do my own version of the sunflower paintings. So yeah, let's get started. I'm gonna try to cover as much white space as possible, hopefully all of it, because we try to get rid of the white. Um, you don't have to. I mean, if you choose not to, then you just have to find a different way to approach your paintings. But sometimes the light, like super light spaces, like especially those white spaces that peeking through the rest of the paint, uh, sometimes can be a little bit uh, distracting. So try to fill it as much as I can. And of course, I don't want to make it too wet because the rest of the paint will not stick. So I see my sunflowers, and uh, right now it's afternoon. Uh, the light is casting over part of the, the scene, and uh, certain part of yellow is extremely saturated and light in value, and the rest of it is fairly dark, much darker. And, uh, and also the saturation is also very great. So, and I'm trying to figure out my composition in terms of how much I would like to include. saturation of the green I wanted. Once again my cam is very wet so it's very hard to uh, for my paint to stick but it does give you this very nice slippery and smooth look of the brush strokes which is kind of nice and sometimes you try to you know implement whatever you have and try to use whatever it's given to you. Um, so when I look at my shadow shapes they're fairly cool um, but it's still fairly warm. It's warmer than my greens on the flower, but it's way cooler than the rest of the composition. So I try to keep that in mind. The value of my sunflowers in the light would be a number of one, but in the shadow, of the yellow colors would be value of three. So that's an idea that I always keep in mind when I paint, just keep my value in check. Um, so as much as uh, those values becomes darker and also it becomes warmer and redder. And uh, so I implement more red and orange into the, the cooler value of the yellows, even the co local color is all the same, but in certain Light scenarios, the color will change. So just keep that in mind. So now I'm gonna fill in some of the background colors, which is it's much more muted. It's much darker in value in comparison with the, the main subject, which is the sunflowers. Um, it's much warmer. And um, so now my canvas is, you know, it dry a little bit. So it's nice for me to, um, to apply a little more paint, a thicker paint.
also right now I'm gonna implant some of the lighter green colors in the background and I feel like my background is a little muddy and uh, I start losing that warm yellowish orange idea so therefore I'm gonna just add a little more a little more see what happens Phthalo green, let's introduce a little bit of phthalo green in there and I'm gonna mix phthalo with orange and that's gonna give him a very saturated yellowish green which that's what I wanted and I'm gonna apply it and normally I mix color, I don't mix all the way because uh, it just keeps that idea is fresh even though sometimes the original green is still seeping through and it looks very uh, original, you know when you squint your eyes, that imperfection will blend in. I squint my eyes, check my shapes, check my value, double check, triple check, and I'm gonna make a certain part of the background a little cooler and try to stay in terms of value wise. So you try to control your values and changing your hue, which is the color. Sometimes I just literally just mix them in and not worry about too much in terms of the saturation.
too. Now I'm going to implement some of the phthalo blue in there. It's really cool and much lighter in value so the blue really comes out because if the color is too dark certain temperature and certain intensity of the color especially the blue it's really gonna pull back and it's not gonna stay as much so so right now I'm still gonna go over some of the warms in my sunflower Another makes a really thick paint and make some really thick paint and trying to establish some of the warms so when you paint this thick which is normally I kind of do um, and I'm really trying to establish the warms as well as the general color so you kind of every stroke becomes a a single stroke so then you have to go back and clean your brushes and try to go again try to keep the stroke clean that's very important so my sunflower instead of yellowish now is more orange of course then I'm gonna bring the yellow back um, maybe So the uh, overall painting took me about uh, an hour and a half and uh, it was a great experience, nice to paint indoors once in a while. Uh, the sunflowers was really beautiful and pretty, you know, with the sunlight, uh, it really gave out this really nice uh, warm colors. And uh, guys, thanks so much for watching and if you like my videos, please like and subscribe, leave me some comments and I'll see you guys next time.